thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be chatting to you about how to wake up at 5am. I've done a number of videos two to be precise talking about why i love waking up at 5 a.m back at uni i used to wake up and go to the gym now i wake up and just start my day and have a pretty amazing if i may say so myself morning routine you can check out that morning routine i will leave the link to that video in the description box of this video so definitely check that out if you're thinking of waking up at 5 a.m i just wanted to put into the universe some helpful tips so that you don't go down the wrong path that I went down back in the day and that many people still do because I see some things on the internet where people are like I tried waking up at 5 a.m. it didn't work for me and you know that's cool some of the videos I'm like yeah no it's not gonna work if you do it like that it is is not gonna work in this video I'm gonna share with you three tips to waking up at 5 a.m. without hating your life make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you like it so I know to make more like this and subscribe because I've got so many more planned so many good things coming so yeah definitely subscribe join me on Instagram I post loads on there especially on my Instagram stories just like so much stuff so much content on my Instagram stories all right without further ado let's get into the video my first tip is to go to bed on time like everyone wants to talk about 5 a.m. but no one wants to talk about the 9 p.m. bedtime if 5 a.m. is sexy, hot, cool, success, so is 9 p.m. Going to bed at 9 p.m. is cool. It is cool and it is underrated and it is so crucial if you want to wake up at 5 a.m. without hating your life. If you change your wake up time to being earlier without changing your bedtime to being earlier, then all you are going to achieve is sleep deprivation. You're just gonna be tired. I aim to get minimum eight hours sleep. I'm definitely gonna do a video on that in future because it has genuinely changed my life over the last couple of years when I've just massively prioritized getting eight hours sleep. Um, so I recommend you get between seven to nine hours sleep at least per night. When it comes to setting a bedtime, I recommend number one, choosing how many hours of sleep that you want. So start from 5 a.m. and count back the number of hours that you want. I personally go for eight, so my bedtime is 9 p.m. And what I mean by that is I want to be asleep at 9 p.m., which means that I actually start getting ready for bed at about eight, half eight. So I start winding down the day at that time. That means that when I'm planning activities, they, they can't encroach onto that time. And I know that sounds crazy, you know, but young woman, I should be out there living my life, but no, I wanna be in bed by 9 p.m. And that means preparing for that. If you take a long time to fall asleep, Factor that into the time. So if it takes you like half an hour generally lying in bed trying to fall asleep, be in bed by half eight. So setting a bedtime and sticking to it, well, it, it is literally my number one tip, but it is so important to the point where if I don't get to bed on time, if I'm not in bed by at least nine, half nine, then I push back my wake up time because I'm just not missing out on sleep. There's no point. In my opinion, there is no point in waking up at 5 a.m. if you've gone to bed at midnight. What are you waking up for? To be sleep deprived and tired? Sleep is so key. It's key for your health, long term and short term. If you want to be able to focus on things and take over the world, whatever it is you're waking up earlier for, if you want to be present and focused and at your best, you need to get enough sleep. It is so, so important. As someone who went from sleeping six hours a night to now sleeping eight hours a night, I I really, I really recommend it. I don't drink coffee after 7 a.m. To be honest, I'll have my morning coffee when I get up and I don't drink any coffee for the rest of the day. I try to avoid high caffeine products. So then you're more likely to be able to fall asleep. Number two is to get an alarm clock. Most of us use our phone as an alarm, which is cool, it's cute, it's fine, it's handy. You know, these, these mobile telecommunication devices they're pretty great, they're pretty great, but they are designed to distract us. So many of us have apps on our phones that are literally designed to distract us. Now, I could go on another rant about that. I don't have any notifications on on my phone. <laughs> and it's glorious like the amount of stress and anxiety that I've been experiencing has dropped dramatically since I turned off my notifications last year it's been great I would highly recommend it but anyway even even without notifications our phones are built to distract us and and if you're waking up and the first thing that you do is pick up this device which takes you into the world 
it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to focus. It's gonna be tough to do what you need to do. So I recommend not using your phone as an alarm. I turned my phone off overnight, so there is no chance of something um, going off on there and distracting me. Uh, so I turn it off overnight and I actually use a separate alarm clock. Now this alarm clock only does one thing. It's so basic. I'll leave the link to purchase this alarm clock from Amazon in the description box of this video. I highly recommend it. It is so basic. All it does is ring. It just rings and it wakes you up. Getting an alarm clock will help you to wake up free of distractions and just wake up as, as you. I know that sounds really silly, but just waking up to what's around you, to just breathe in and you decide how you start the day rather than your phone dictating you. Because you wake up, you turn your alarm off and you see five messages from this person, two missed calls, you see this notification or you see a lack of notifications and you feel bad that no one's trying to get in contact with you. What we wake up to is important. The first things that we see and speak when we start our day really does affect our day. So I highly recommend ditching your phone as an alarm and getting an alarm clock. My third and final tip for this video on how to wake up at 5 a.m. is to make a plan, make a plan. Like waking up at five is great and stuff, but if you just wake up at five and sit in bed for two hours scrolling through Instagram, like, I don't know, I don't think that's gonna change your life. So having a plan for your morning, why do you wanna wake up early? Like, what is it you're trying to achieve? Have you just heard that most successful people do? What is what is it that you want success in? Is it that you want time to yourself and solitude and peace and quiet before your housemates wake up? Plan that, how are you gonna take advantage of that? Are you gonna go and sit in the living room with a book? Are you going to stay in your room? What are you going to do when you wake up? Make a plan, decide what you're going to do with those extra hours and do it, write it down, take it off as you go and just experience what you actually want to get out of this. Otherwise you can get enough sleep, you can wake up not distracted and you can still just kind of fall into old habits that aren't necessarily helping you get that successful start that you desire with an early morning. I really hope that you found this video useful, make sure you let me know in the comments what you think. Do you wake up at 5am or are you like nah that's not for me because that's totally cool too. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see next because I know that there's a lot around this topic in terms of how to get a better night's sleep, why we need to sleep more and you know how it really does affect almost every single part of our lives and just so many different questions around mornings and productivity and creating or designing and restructuring your day to create a life that you really enjoy and that, and that you wake up excited to live. That's something that I've really been working on over the last two years. I'm so excited to share the things that I've learned as I continue to still learn. So feel free to share any stuff that you've learned around this topic in the comments below. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I think that was a burp that I tried to hide with a slap on the chest. I will see you in my next video. Bye. I did that because lip gloss. It is such a beautiful day. Look at that sunshine. Ugh, so beautiful.